what to do, Leo here. Today we're going to be watching Overlord Season 4, Episode 8. Uh, previously, what had happened was, what had happened was, the Ice Dragons were a joke. <laughs> the Frost Dragons or whatever. Um, stuff is going down. The Dwarves are finally going to be joining us. We got a nice send-off. Demiurge pops up and gives us quite a little shock. But uh turns out he was just there to admire Ainz and his ever-greatness. <laughs> The irony of this show is so good. The the changing like patience and stuff like that in this show is so good. And to me, I don't know about you guys, but to me it's like peak peak comedy in terms of not even Isekai for this type of show. So now without further ado, let's just start episode eight. I'm gonna be eating a bit, so apologies for the sounds. The theocracy. Whoa, what? If I remember correctly, the princess is working with them. Oh, she would know. She's probably the one that's helping them gain control of the politicians within um or the nobles within the empire or not the empire uh, the kingdom wait what how did you did she just read his mind Poor climb, bro. Poor climb, man. Oh my god, Philip. Oh no. Philip, don't do something stupid, my guy. Or maybe he has done something stupid already. And we're just... I'm betting you he's gonna do something dumb. Or maybe these people with him are gonna do something dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're guessing him up too? Oh my god.
Oh my god. You're gonna die. <laughs> what situation? The theocracy, the slain theocracy. This still doesn't make sense to me. Aren't the slain theocracy actively against them? Why are we giving food to the theocracy? This is what. Oh my god, don't you dare. Don't touch the Sorcerer Kingdom, bro. Don't do it. No. No, 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 no. No, bro. No, this is stupid. You will die. If you so much as touch the Sorcerer's Kingdom. Maybe it's part of their plan. Maybe it's part of Ainz's or Albedo's plan. I might be wrong. But this is, that just sounds like a problem, a huge problem. If he does that, messes with food production of the Sorcerer Kingdom. Is that the Frost Dragon? Wow. <laughs> this is just uh Ainz and uh Pandora. Why? What? Philip? Where's Philip? Oh my god. Idiot. I was about to say, like, how the heck did Ainz's people just get attacked by a bunch of nobles? But if it's the Eight Fingers, yeah, that would make sense. There are other humans. No, 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 no. Oh, not Hilma, dude. No, Hilma didn't. Do not Hilma. Hilma's already been through it, dude. I feel bad for her.
Philippa didn't do anything, dude. She was abiding by her order. She just didn't think that Philip was that stupid to actually go after the crops like that. That's wild. Probably just fear. <laughs> then, then that means you should take responsibility responsibility for Hilma, since you're her support. And if that's the case, then that means, mother, you don't use that card against. Your subordinate. You use, use that card to help your subordinate. That's pretty fucked up, Albedo. I must say, that's not good leadership, my guy. Facts. Facts. We spitting out here. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Agreed. Agreed. He just literally said the same shit I did. Agreed. Yeah, that's just messed up. Her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's huge. Whoa, whoa. That's very good. That's a good leader right there. That's a good leader. Helmut's probably hooked. Helmut's probably like, yep, this man is worth serving. Damn. He's hooked. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's messed up. She's been tortured so badly, and the fear of God, or I guess the undead, has been set into her so hard that that little bit of, that little action that Eins did meant the world. That's very, that's actually super sad if you think about it. Very sad. <laughs> mhm mm mhm mm was it the uh, princess Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Maybe it's not the type they wanted, the type of trouble. Or, 
or or it's a dumbass who just really didn't know his place and did something unspeakable you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible to be that dumb? Impossible. <laughs> the fact that Albedo didn't even believe that Philip is that stupid. <laughs> Oh, okay. I see. Gather all the smart ones into your faction. Put all the stupid ones in another faction and get rid of that faction whenever you take over. I see. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you agree? Damn. Whoa, what the, what the freak? What the? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. Wow, Demiurge actually helped there. Okay. <laughs> So what's the plan? Hmm. What? Possible for Ainz, what do you do? What? What? On the international level? What the fuck you mean? What, what? Yo, what do you mean? Can you explain? Oh no, don't fake it. No, what does that mean? What did you just tell him to do? <laughs> what did you just tell him to do? What? Oh, if she's happy, this isn't good. What did you tell them to do? Plus themselves to how they care. Receive the stick. Carrot and stick in the international level? Ooh, ooh, what? What? What do you mean? Yeah, what did you just tell them to do? Or indirectly tell them to do? Oh, yeah, it was one of your nobles, so technically, yeah. Uh, this king is going through it. Whoa, the Sorcerer Kingdom, the Baharuth Empire, the Dragon Kingdom, the Dwarf Kingdom that we dealt with in one episode. <laughs> That's crazy. The seals of the theocracy and the equally powerful one called Faceless. What the heck? Yeah, but at the end of the day, they represent you. They do represent you, though, because you are, it's, it's your noble. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That was quick. Yep, they done yeah, they found out. That was quick. Yeah. Philip Philip Damas. 
They're just like Alvedo. They're like, can someone be that dumb? Yes. <laughs> yes. Someone. They're even rationalizing it by <laughs> brainwashing now. Yeah, the thing was, he's not silenced. He's he's there. He's got this king has good good values, right? Good values, but I think the decisions that he made or the lack of decisions that he's made in regards to the sorcerer kingdom and even the empire with their really long war has led to this situation. So the fact that he's willing to not sacrifice this one foolish noble saying he's an innocent even though he has no evidence and obviously he's not innocent, he did do it. But the fact that he's willing to not give that one noble's head to say sorry and sa and possibly sacrifice his whole kingdom upon disrespecting the sorcerer kingdom, it's kind of weird, you know, ass backward. And our blondie here that we see, he makes sense. The the next heir, the next king in the line, the next heir of the kingdom, it makes sense what he's doing. But he has to come across, I guess he has to balance the way he says it to make it seem like yes he still is a caring king like his father however he is willing to make the decisions kind of like jerk Neve, you know he's willing to make the decisions that are tough and are uh, cruel to an extent but in the end but in the best interest of the kingdom itself and in, in the long run and i guess that's just a big between them just a little soliloquy for me don't mind me Yeah, after seeing those goats, dude, it's just not worth it. Just seeing those goats. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, protect the people. Hey, yo, what? Vassal state? Oh, wait, 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 I think I got it. I think that guy is part of the faction that Albedo and Demiurge said that is already, the part of the faction that is already helping Ein Zulgo and that's helping the Sorcerer Kingdom. He's probably one of the people that's already supporting the Sorcerer Kingdom in the background. That's why. Yeah, you see, he noticed too. It's like, what? You just said vassal state. What should I do? What? Did he time that? Oh, shit! Albedo's here! Why is Albedo here? Why did Albedo come? I need to know what the frick I just indirectly told Demiurge and Albedo. I, the carrot and the stick, but in an international level. What the frick does that mean? They will, we will set, we will set the empire and the kingdom as an example for what the world wants. For what the world wants, do they want to be like the empire or the kingdom? What does that mean? Whatever it is, it's definitely heinous. Because they were thinking, yeah, we should just kill them all. And they were like, oh, let's do something worse. Like, what's worse than killing all of them? What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. Oh, post credit scene. Hey, oh, wait. <laughs> Perfect timing. Albedo oh, with her world item. Hmm. Hmm. 
you have to, you know, that's like the first step. And then, you know. What? 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 What did you say? What? No, no. No, 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 bro. No, no, no. This is not. That's not how I thought it would go. No. No, this is perp for their plot. Okay, that's pretty messed up that I said that, but oh my god. He's willing to sacrifice his own head to save. Okay, part of me thinks that is one of the most daring thing to do as the king. The other part of me says this is the perfect way to run away from the situation and get out of this whole mess. Just to die. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh, what an episode. I mean, it wasn't action-packed or nothing like that, but again, I'm not that type of person. I'm really interested in the, in, in the intrigue, the political scope, the world building of this show in general and of course the antics between the the floor guardians and eins is funny as hell i really want to know what the character on the stick and an international level means what the world will choose that's kind of crazy but um hopefully they'll explain that in the next few episodes we're like are we two thirds in three fourths in oh my gosh time flew by dude this show has been great hopefully i'll join me in the next one and i'll see y'all then